Hey, oops, I... <laughs> oops, I had it pointing the wrong direction. Hey, everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I have got an exciting thing lined up for you today. Uh, you guys, I have uh, revisited an old idea that I was going to... That I was gonna go ahead and uh, and try for. So I've been talking about it. I've been thinking about it. I've planned it, and now I am doing the die by chai challenge. So uh, I have a lot to go through. I'm gonna go ahead and start the welcome, welcome first visitor, whoever you are. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the water because uh, there's a lot to go through. I'm gonna be tasting two teas, and both of them are of my own uh, creation. It's the Dai Bai Chai Challenge, uh, and both of these are chai teas that I created to be very, very spicy. Now, uh, the last time I did this, I I overshot. <laughs> to, for everybody who saw it last time, I underestimated the... Uh, Shano, welcome! Uh, I underestimated my, uh, my own taste buds, and I kind of bit off more than I could chew. So this time I'm a little bit more prepared and, and I dressed coolly. Uh, I took a shower, as you can see my hair is... Teresa, welcome! My hair is uh, still a little bit wet. I want it to stay nice and fresh and cool because this time around I am not playing. Knickerdoodles, welcome! So, um... Yeah, last time I I'm I'm gonna try my best not to die by chai, but I can't make any promises. Um, last time I was sweating, I got all ugly and gross and stuff, but it was worth it. This time I'm gonna take on two of them. So, if you guys remember, uh, last time I did die by chai. Now the new tea that I'm uh, preparing is death by chocolate chai. And it's the chocolate version. Valerie, welcome! It's the uh, chocolate version of my Die by Chai, and I don't know what to expect. Greg, welcome! So, my tea is going. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, before, uh, before I, I start, both of these are of my own creation. So, I'm going to go through through what is on the Die by Chai, because that's going to be the first one uh, that I go with. Um, it's got masala chai, rooibos caramel, and rooibos vanilla chai with, uh, with extra cardamom, red peppercorn, and ginger. So we are looking at a really nice burn. This is the one I had last time. Hey, hey, Greg! This is the one I had last time, and it kicked my booty. So I am, I'm raring to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead because I hear my, my, um, my water is almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the champion, Dai Bai Chai. And I'm going to revisit what I smelled last time. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's nice and spicy. Now the first thing that you really smell is like the cardamom and the, uh, there's a lot of cinnamon in it. Ooh, that's really nice. Ooh, I'm already, like, it's burning my eyes. It's a little bit. So, it's a very colorful tea, more, more so than I remembered. There we go. I'm going to show you guys in just a moment what it looks like. But I am, I'm rearing to go. Okay, so, to start off, you can see right off the bat, there's a lot of oranges, reds. It's a very earthy looking tea. Now, I, it's got a blue, blue cornflower. You can see a little bit over here. Uh, I'm going to go over the, um, I'm going to go over the, uh, the ingredients again. Uh, I just skipped over it because you guys don't know what's in the solid chai and uh, and all of that stuff. So I'll go over it. But last time, this thing got like really, really spicy. So I'm expecting to uh, I'm expecting to sweat a little bit tonight. And this time, I am not even going to pre-sweeten the pots because. Uh, 
I want the full I want the full flavor. It's very colorful. Like I, I really like it. Okay, so uh, it's got rooibos tea, ginger root, uh, black tea, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon bark, orange peels, natural caramel flavor, natural vanilla flavor, and natural cinnamon flavor. So this is going to be a very flavorful tea. Uh, you guys remember last time it was it was really good. It started off slow, but then it got me at the end. Um, so I'm prepared for it. Yes, you remember, Shanna. Oh, my it looks like my uh, my my kettle is really really close to finishing so I'm going to watch it really quick I'm listening for the bubbles there it is I, I, I can actually see the bubbles through the little window and that that water is oh it's ready I'm waiting for the pop come on there we go now since this is a black tea I am Steeping the water at a hundred and uh, sorry, two hundred and twelve degrees, and I can only leave it in for about five minutes. No sugar. I am going full force into this. Uh, let me see. It's eight oh seven. Uh, eight, let me see, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I'm totally doing this by finger. So at eight twelve, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, take it out, and I'm going to refill the kettle a little bit in preparation for the next one. There we go. I have come fully prepared this time. I, I'm trying really hard to break my habit of um, of making it. Uh, thank you. I, I, I am trying to get like the full, the true taste now. Um, now, I, I'm also trying to break my habit of being slightly unprepared for every single, um, for every single, uh, sh uh, stream that I do, because it's always something that goes wrong, right? So, I figured this is about a, that's part of the reason why I created the tea group. Uh, generally, when I'm working on preparation and I send out the notices and I'm like, okay guys, look, I'm, here's a reminder, I'm gonna stream in about five minutes, you know, but I'm still preparing and, and something always gets left out. So now that I have created the group and all you guys can see, you can get all the, uh, information you, uh, you need. I can spend more time preparing and less time running back and forth saying, okay, don't forget I'm streaming, don't forget I'm streaming, don't forget I'm streaming. It makes it so much easier. And plus you guys get to interact more with each other in the community rather than having to um, just rely on me and then wait till the um, wait till the stream to to get to know each other. Now you guys can talk to each other, share your tea experiences, your tea preferences. I think that this is going to be a very positive change uh, to the regular. It's going to be a, an amazing uh, addition, and I've already got some really, really fun ideas uh, to get you guys uh, discussing and getting to know each other better. You know, because this is this is what it's all about: bonding over tea. Um, so, as you saw earlier today, I put I, I posted a question, and the purpose of it was to get wrong answers to get the most outrageously weird, funny answers uh, that I could get. So a couple of you had uh, had already um, had already participated. I'm very grateful. Uh, it's still going to be there, so you can answer it at any time, even if it's next year, next ten years. Yes, you can feel the intensity. Ah, <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, so it looks like I got two more minutes on the um, uh, on the clock, and let me tell you right off the bat, I can smell it. Look. It's all the way over there, and I can smell it. Like, right off the bat, I'm smelling, it's it's a lot of the cinnamon, and the cardamom, and the ginger. Wendy, welcome! Oh, that is, that's a nice, it's a nice warm smell. And last time, I made the mistake of uh, underestimating it. I know the kind of heat that that's packing. So I am not going to, to underestimate it. I'm going to call it a warm smell, but it's a smell that can be deceiving. 
So I got one more minute until the uh, until the timer's up, and then I'm gonna dive right in. No sugar, no uh, no sweetener. The only sweetener is gonna be the caramel that's already in there, and let's see if it kills me this time. Probably not, but I can never be too sure. And if I do go down, just be sure that uh, be sure to know that I died doing what I love. <laughs> Oh, that's such a nice smell. I wish I, I wish I could like put the the put the scent right through the phone, because you guys would just absolutely love this. Oh, I'm watching that clock. I keep I, I keep moving closer and closer towards the towards the tea because I'm getting a little bit impatient, just a little bit. You know, I'm going to meet my nemesis on the battlefield. <laughs> Oh, it's 8.12, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out real quick. Do it one-handed. Ah! I dropped it. Owie, owie, owie. That's hot. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like again. Oh, yes, the smell would be out of this world. There we go. So you can see it's... it's got uh it's gotten a little bit darker the uh the peppercorn is huge you can see like it expanded quite quite a bit there's a lot of yellows in there a lot of browns and oranges um it's most likely going well it's it's a black tea uh that's um that's mixed in with the with the rooibos which is uh, a short leaf tea so i'm not expecting a whole lot of um a whole lot of expansion, but I'm sure it did expand quite a bit. I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't... I'm shaking it so that the water doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, leak too much. Yeah, it looks alright. Okay, so I'm trying not to drip it. Now there has been quite, quite a bit of, uh, of expansion but not a whole lot. Some black teas expand practically all the way up. This one looks like it only went from about there to here. So it, it, it kind of just doubled in size. Um, but, you know, it, I started off with a small amount to begin with. Uh, do I just get one cup of tea per steep? Can you get more? This one, um, the pot that I use usually does about two, two and a half cups. Um, as a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and pour this out a little bit. Um, or when I use my T-Rex, it's, cause that's a bigger, it's a bigger cup. So, um, it's usually, I, like I could get one and a quarter on the T-Rex, two and a half for one of these, which each of them is the same size. So it's going to get about two and a half cups for each. And I spilled a little when I pulled out the, uh, the the basket so yeah i had to fix that all right here we go i'm gonna pour this out oh that is a nice beautiful color i love the way it looks it's very bronze nice and brown and, and practically golden and the smell is out of this world Mmm, it's a nice warm smell. It's it's very um it's very solid. And right off the bat, I gotta put this down for a second. Right off the bat, I feel a little bit of a burn right here. And that's just from the smell. Like it went straight up there and right here. I I I'm I'm loving this already. Alright, so here comes the first taste. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, that's nice. It's it's spicy and it's peppery. So you have like a um you have the spice off the bat. I guess it didn't hit as hard last time uh because I put sugar in it. This time it's unsweetened, uh unbridled flavor. So it's going to be this is all natural uh all natural Goodness. Anno, welcome! Oh, my my computer uh, went to sleep. 
But, uh, oh, before I forget, since this is one of my blends, um, 5% of all sales goes to a charity. Uh, so this one in particular is going to go to, where is it? They changed it a little bit. Um, hey. I'm looking for it. Uh, 5% goes to the Leukemia and, L and Lymphoma Society. Uh, this is the one that um, my sister was uh, was helping out when she did one of her concerts before I had moved here. Um, and they do a lot of like cancer research. Uh, they do a lot of uh, they do treatments for for blood cancer patients. Um, and they've been around since 1945. I'm just reading off the uh, off the fact page. Um, so yeah, they've been doing uh, chemo research in uh, chemotherapies, live stem cell transplantation, transplantation, um, targeting therapies and immunotherapies, and saving thousands of lives. Yes, see, see? so Teresa did two concerts for them. They do a lot of uh, they do a lot of good work, and you know I, I love to I love to help them out. So. I'm going to go back to drinking. I had to just put that little blur blurb out there. Oh, that's so good. So you taste like... Without the without the sugars and stuff, you taste like the pepper. You taste like the, the, the ginger and the cardamom, mostly. There's a little bit... There's a hint. It's not too sweet, but there's a hint of the caramel in it. And the vanilla. Now, in this case, I'm going to be drinking a little bit faster because I have two pots to go through. Um, so, <laughs> if you guys have any questions, just blurt them out because I have I have a lot on my plate. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of challenge that I put myself through. I have nobody else to blame but myself. Now, the way that this uh, that this tastes. It's very, um, it's light earthy. Like, you can taste the, the, the black tea, the earthy flavor. Um, but the sweetness is, uh, it's relevant. It's, it's pretty profound. Um, now, it's, it's not a very strong tasting tea, but it is a spicy tea. I'm expecting this thing to kick in at any minute now, really, because whenever it does, it's just like, Last time it started off slow, but then it hit me um, around, I want to say, halfway through the first cup uh, into the into the second. And then the third one, the, the, the last half was just like, <gasps> <gasps> so I made sure to pick a nice cold day to do this. Uh, I'm wearing a light jacket that I can unzip uh, if I need to. And my pajama pants, like I usually do this in jeans, but I'm not playing around tonight. My pajama pants are uh, are pretty light material, very breathable, so I'm looking to be nice and comfortable tonight. So now, I'm calling you out, T. Do your worst. I wasn't so prepared last time. <laughs> last time, ooh, I was sloppy. I was like, oh, I can take anything you can throw at me, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, <laughs> it threw me into the wall. Mm. Oh, yeah, there you go. I can feel it going down. Like it I can like you can track all the way down to about mm. my chest. Mm. And of course I'm slurping because, you know, that's the normal way <laughs> to taste your whole tea. So you guys got any questions, any comments while I drink this as fast as I can? Because I have, I have a lot to get through. Mm. I highly recommend this for a cold night. All chai teas, they, they warm your core temperature. And um, it's been known to make people to make people sweat when they're not prepared for it. Uh, it, it. It lasts a lot longer than a regular tea. 
because uh, the more that you drink it, the more you, um, the more it gathers, essentially. So I'm really liking it. What steep question? I didn't see. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I did. If I get one cup uh, per steep, or can you get more? That was where um, the pot depends on um, on how many on how many cups you can get in. Uh, you keep on th these tea these teapots do. Uh, what did I say before? Uh, well, for this kind of cup. I usually get two and a half, but with the um, with my T Rex cup, it's usually oh uh, one and a third maybe. Ani, welcome. Hey, are you guys having any uh, any connection troubles? Because um, I, I just got word that uh, it's freezing for somebody, uh, so I don't know if. Um, if it's freezing for for all you guys, or if it's just uh, if it's just one or two people, I don't know. I mean, it's still so it still shows that there's one person left uh, on the stream. So I'm thinking that there might be some some sort of issue. Uh, but just yeah, keep me in the loop. If you're if you're having trouble watching, let me know. Um, I'll see if there's anything uh, I can do from here. Oh, it's okay now. Okay, yeah, whatever it was, it might have been it might have been my Wi-Fi. I don't know, uh, but hopefully everybody comes back. But anyway, I'm almost finished with my first cup. Um, about to give myself a refill. Whew! I'm already starting to feel it. Like right now, everything in the back of my throat, like all of this is it it's warm and that's a nice sign of where this is headed i'm just waiting for it to start to go further my down my throat and my chest i'm looking to get warm up to about here and like already i can still i can still physically feel a little bit of the warmth right here uh up and down my throat so this is this is starting to kick already Mm. But it's such a good burn. It's a nice, mellow flavor. Um, it's not too sweet, not too, not too earthy. I think that uh, it calls for it, it, this. This calls for a good one. Uh, imagine drinking that in India when it's 105 degrees. Oh, absolutely. I, I that that's what the masala chai comes from. It's it's all spiced from India. And, I mean, I don't know why you would put yourself through that torture when you're 105 degrees and you're spicing it up. Yeah, that's some crazy stuff there. Uh, am I hot enough to run outside? Not yet. I will be soon, I'm sure. But right now, right now, it's it's all nice and mellow. Plus, I'm drinking it fast. Uh, so I'm not really, uh, I'm not really letting it, letting myself feel it quite yet. We'll see. Then again, it is colder outside now than it was the first time I did it. The first die by chai I did, I believe, was in the fall. I don't remember for sure. Um, I'll have to check my my archives. But yeah, uh, I I know that it wasn't too cold out there. So right now, I believe it's uh, maybe about sixteen degrees outside. And you know, I mean, I'm not too covered up right now. Uh, and as you see, dry forehead, nothing there. My hair is wet, but that's only because I took a shower. So I'm still like feeling refreshed from that. And I had to fix my hair. I saw some little funky, funky shape there. And yes, that's an actual shape. It's funky shaped. Hey, Ma, welcome. Caught me mid sip. Mm. Almost done with the first cup. I'm going to go ahead and just chug it and get this second one going. Mm. 
First cup down. For anybody that's keeping track. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Ow, ow, ow. Hot, hot. There we go. Oh. Oh, I love that smell. Oh, and my my laptop just went to sleep again. There we go. And the thing I love about this pot is that just as the last one cools off, everything remains like super hot in there. So I'm feeling that burn all over again. I'm not even giving myself a chance to to let it cool down. This is going to be a challenge that is uh, that is worthy of um, worthy of the uh, most epic feats of uh, man can imagine. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm totally selling this. I totally am selling this. <laughs> oh wow! Even the second pot. Now that the the temperature heat is compiling on top of the spicy heat, so now I'm like, woo. I would imagine I'm going to start sweating pretty soon. This is the kind of thing that you're going to want to drink on a really cold night. And it's unsweetened too, so I'm getting all the pepper. Like now it's really starting to... Now it's really starting to kick in. Like everything is all across... I don't know how to how to explain it. But like everything on the bottom of my mouth and all across the back of my throat is, it's basically burning right now. And, you know, I like it. This is some good stuff. And you can see my nose is starting to, uh, starting to get a little, a little runny. So th this is, this is effective. Oof. Oh wow, that's some good stuff. This like I'm I'm already tempted to start unzipping my uh my jacket a little. Don't worry, I am still fully clothed under <laughs> under this jacket. I know last time you guys wanted me to do a full strip tease. Wasn't gonna happen. There's gonna be at least a five dollar cover charge per person. Just saying. It'll be like tea stream after dark. <laughs> oh, oh, that one! Wow, you could use what five dollars? Oh, my God, that last one. Oh, yeah, the uh, the what you call it? The um, the drainage? Yeah, this. I mean. I, I, I'll definitely make you a bag. I don't mind. This is like, this is some good stuff and it will clear you out. It's already clearing me out and I didn't, and I don't even have a cold. This thing is like, it's nice and toasty. Mm. But now that it's, it's all compiling the spice on top of the temperature, I feel like my entire mouth is is burning, but I have like, I guess you could call it an effervescence in my breath. Like I breathe out, it's hot, and then it cools off. And that's like, it, it's a very strange effect, but I guess that's what pepper does. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's got a, a nice little burn to it. And I'm trying to, uh, to just keep this going. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's, that's some hot stuff right there. It just fogged up my glasses. <laughs> I, I, did I freeze? You guys, are you able to to see me? or Because um, I, I don't know what's going on tonight, but like there's some sort of uh, interference or something. I don't know. You guys, you guys all see me okay? Anybody? I'll, I'll take another sip. Oh, this is so good. 
I I don't know if your silence is a good thing or if I'm frozen for you people. I have no idea. I'm just going to keep on going. But anyway, this stuff is like really... I, I'm trying to, to finish this all like as fast as I can. Uh, I guess there might be some sort of issue with... Um, Beth, welcome! I guess there might be some uh, some sort of reception issues. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm almost done with my first pot and it's 831. So I'm looking on, um, I'm looking just fine, uh, as far as time is concerned. And I'm watching the clock, uh, just to make sure. Ooh, ooh, that was a, like a burn. Ooh. <laughs> that, Wow. Like, something just repeated on me, and it's... Ooh. See, this is what happens whenever I drink and talk. Like, all that gas is going in and out. That's just like, ooh, boy. But I'm, have, I, I'm having an effect right now. I feel like I've got, like, dragon breath. You know, like that hot, like... And, and it just comes out really... I'm going to go ahead and top this off. There we go. It, I would say so. Like, if you have anything that's, uh, that's bugging you, this is going to clear you out for sure. And this is only the first pot. Just imagine how I'm going to look after the second. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and start the, uh, the water. Because, whew, I have to be, I, I'm juggling here. <laughs> oh, I'm juggling there. But yeah, for definitely for sore throat issues, for sinuses. Um, I don't know how well it'll work for fevers. I mean, everybody has their, their own take on it. But um, it's, I think it'll, it, I, I think that it's good for like clearing you out for sure. Maybe if you have a fever, it wouldn't be so good because it'll it'll raise your body temperature even more. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend it for um, for like really really sick, really fever issues, um, unless you have like something something alongside to cool you off as well. <clears throat> oh, I'm already it's already starting to get to me. I'm not sweating yet, though. I'm actually surprised I'm not sweating. Maybe it's because of the room temperature. Maybe it's because I'm not, um, I, I'm wearing light clothes that it's, uh, that it's not, that I'm not sweating yet. But I do feel a nice warmth in my stomach and in my chest. So, we'll see, we'll see where this night goes. It's not over yet. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this. Oh, I'm gonna have to blow my nose in a minute. <laughs> this is like, whoa. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. Like, I don't want to have anything like that because it, it'll it'll make you sweat more, and yeah, you'll you'll dehydrate yourself. So yeah, you're, you're good call. I would not recommend this for for fevers, but for for uh, like regular colds. Uh, allergies or anything like that yeah this will this will definitely help you breathe Woo. first one down would I put milk in this tea um I would as a sweetener um, for tonight's purposes I'm trying to get as much of the heat as I possibly can um, but generally, I do think that it, it would taste good uh, with a little bit of with a little bit of milk. So, first challenge is down. The Dai Bai Chai, really, really nice. I love the taste. And now we're going to check out the uh, Death by Chocolate Chai. And my water just just stopped, so I'm going to have to do a quick review of the tea.
Death by Chocolate Chai making its debut and challenging the authority of the Die by Chai. So, let's go ahead and open it. Now, this one I have no idea what to expect. At least I knew walking in that uh, the, the Die by Chai was going to be a hot one. This, we'll see. I'm going to pop that there. Ooh, this is gonna be nice. This one has a really, really deep chocolatey taste, uh, jo chocolatey scent to it. I'm going to pour this out a little bit, so, and I'll, I'll go over what's in it in just a minute. <clears throat> Now, chocolate chai, hold on, there we go, I think I put a little bit too much. Chocolate chai has always been a, um, a favorite of mine from the, ooh, that's nice, from the moment I smelled it and the, the first time I tasted it, it's got a really, really nice chocolatey, chocolate content to it. It's kind of like almost a hot chocolate. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Now it's not as colorful. Uh, you can see there's no peppercorn in there. It's, um, yeah, you probably would. It's not as, um, it's, it's not as, as, uh, like some chocolate teas are mixed with black tea and you don't really get the chocolate out of it. This one you do. Uh, right off the smell, it's like hot chocolate. But you can see there's a lot of like yellows, blacks, and browns in there. And I'll show you guys what it... Let me try to put it in focus. Oh, there's... Well, you can see the general size. How much I put in. And once again, this is going to be steeped at 212 degrees for 5 minutes. And there we go. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to give you guys the full, um, the full ingredient list. Oh, I can, I can put a little bit more in there. Oh, ow, my finger. <laughs> there we go. Rookie mistake 101. I touched the, the kettle by mistake. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, this one is the Death by Chocolate Chai. Uh, it's got black tea, ginger root, cinnamon bark, cloves, cardamom, rooibos, uh, orange peels, cinnamon, cocoa nibs, chocolate flavor, and vanilla flavor. Uh, and this one already is, uh, it's, it's like the smell is penetrating. Even with my... <gasps> Oh, excuse me, even with my nose being slightly uh, congested now that everything is draining, that that scent is, um, it's, it's penetrating. Like, I can smell it even though I'm slightly congested. So, this one uh, is going to, 5% is going to the Wolf Conservation Center. Uh, it's, the, it's going to promote the conservation of wolves by teaching about wolves, their relationship to the environment, and the human role uh, in protecting their future. Uh, they go on-site, uh, they go on-site and off-site, and uh, they do education programs, um, emphasizing wolf biology, ecological benefits of wolves and other large predators, and the current uh, status of wolf recovery in the United States. I thought this was this was very fitting to have a tea with bite and 5% go to a uh, to a wolf uh, a wolf centric wolf centric, I guess, uh, charity. Uh, so yeah, like, I think that that's a great idea. I love animals. I love wolves. They're very majestic and, and I don't know. It's just, I thought this was going to be a wonderful idea. So without, for, oh, I forgot to look at the, uh, at the time it's 840 now. I'm going to say it started at eight. Maybe I was prattling on for two minutes. So I'll take it out at, um, 
843. Hooray for animals! <laughs> yeah, I love animals. They're awesome. And I got two wolves upstairs that are masquerading as puppy dogs. <laughs> They're awesome, though. Oh, I, I'm struggling to... You know what? Yeah. I'll just move that here, because I want to... I want to I want to keep it covered a little bit. Um, the teapot that I'm using for this one is my my black porcelain one, and that one. Well, you know what? Let me show you guys. It's got. I can't really hold it right. Hold on. There we go. So you see, it kind of dips into it. So I can't really cover. I want to cover the tea, but I can't really do it because. It's probably going to overflow. I think I put in a little bit too much water, but yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's some good stuff. All right, so it's 8:42. I got one more minute. I'm excited to try this one. This is one that I have been thinking about for a long time. Um, just the idea of having a chocolate dye by chai uh, version. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm used to having the uh, the chai. Uh, the chocolate chai by itself. I never really mixed it with anything. Um, I, yeah, this is from Adagio. Uh, it's it's the one of my own blends. Um, and of course, you know, as always, I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys the uh, the link in case you want to try it out for yourselves. Uh, I highly recommend it for when the weather's out like this. Whew, that's it's 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 gonna be a lifesaver. If we do one minute. I'm, I'm like watching the clock because I'm dying to try this thing. <laughs> oh, the teapot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one that I got actually when I did my first, um, my first, uh, tea tasting with my niece. Um, that's the one that I picked and it's been with me ever since. It's, uh, that's the, the same one that you have with, um, oh, it's 843. So I'm going to pull it out. But that, that's the same one that, that you have with, uh, with Adagio, uh, I forget which color you got. Was it orange or I think it was like the orange or the green, one of the two. But yeah, there we go. I'll let that. I'll let that settle right there. Oh, and I'm trying to let the water. You have green and purple. Okay, I knew it was something like that. I, I didn't know if with the uh, what colors you picked up. Um, but the cookies with the tea, uh, best cookies, I would say, I would go with a vanilla, a vanilla cookie, with the uh, the dye by chai. What there's a biscuit that you get on Curry Hill. Uh, save it for some of my chai tea and biscuits. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I'll I'll do that one of these days. I'll I'll if you're sending me the uh the cookies, I'll save it for for one of my streams. And uh I'll pair it see how it goes. Um but yeah, this one for the for the uh for the die by chai, I would say like a uh, uh, like one of the English biscuits. Um you know, that that's not too uh not too flavorful. But still sweet, something like that. Welcome back, Wendy. Um, for the chocolate die by chai, I'll let you know in a moment because I haven't tasted it yet. And without further ado, I'll go ahead. Since I'm right handed, I need to move some of this stuff over. <laughs> oh, I can smell that. Oh, it's so good. All right, I'm gonna have to move my phone over too because. I couldn't quite space it very well. All right, here we go. Oh, now that's actually surprising. This is a little bit lighter than the Dai Bai Chai. Not by much, but it's it's noticeable. And I spilled a tiny bit. But that is actually, from what I've heard... It's actually a sign of respect when you um, when you spill a little bit of the tea. I don't I don't remember why, 
Um, but yeah, we had a tea tasting and, and they mentioned that uh, the more of a mess you make, the more respectful you are to your guests. But of course, you don't want to spill everything all over the place because that kind of defeats the purpose. Oh, that is so chocolatey. Oh, and also, another little tidbit before I, before I take my drink. I found out that it is actually polite to rinse the leaves before you serve it as a, as a tea. So that, um, well, yeah, it stains, but you know, that's besides the point. Um, you rinse the leaves before you serve it as a sign of respect to your guests that it washes out the, um, the, uh, like the dirt and stuff. Um, and you serve your first, um, you serve the first steep to your enemies because you're giving them all of the dirt and all of the the stuff that's on the leaf before you re-steep and serve it again. Uh, I, I better have my mom ready when I visit. Oh, mop. I was about to say, I was like, what? Yeah, you, you threw me off there. Ooh, that's a good one. That is, woo. Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah, this has got a burn. It's probably reacting to the spices that are already in my mouth. But, like, this this has got a kick. Now, it's not as peppery as it, uh, as the, uh, Die by Chai. But, um... You 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 don't miss out on the spice. Like you get more of the heat and less of that airy kind of uh, kind of burn to it. Nicole, welcome. Uh, what do you mean? I like that. You 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 like the idea? Of, well, knowing you, you like the idea of uh, serving the first steep to your enemies as a sign of disrespect, but they'll never know because you know you're like. Serving them guests, they assume, culture uh, culture wise, that you're rinsing the leaves before you serve. They'll never know it, but they're drinking the dirt and the uh, the earth that's uh, attached to the leaves. So I, I know your vengeful little self. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's good. That thing goes, whew, it's like hitting me straight in the back of my throat. Like, I, I don't even feel it in my face. I just, ooh. Yeah, this is, this is like, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice burn. I'm, I'm still surprised I'm not sweating. All of this is dry for now. I'm expecting to get at least a little bit sweaty in a little while. But maybe that shower that I took and the clothes that I'm wearing is really impacting all of that. Because uh, generally, generally, I right now I'd be like slumped over in my chair going, ah, it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, but do I know my sister or do I know my sister? I knew exactly what she was talking about when she said I like that. Do you know how many people would be getting dirty tea? <laughs> I I do know how many people, because <laughs> I know you. Uh, I don't want to cry. Um, I feel like it's it's like clearing me out, and I, like I, I'm I'm still like I haven't even finished the first half of this. Right now, the tip of my tongue. You can, you, you can, you, I'm sure you just heard it. The tip of my tongue is a little bit tingly. And that's like the first time that I experienced chocolate chai. My tongue was tingly for the first five minutes. And it was just like, ooh, I'm going to like this. <laughs> like the first time I drank it, I brought it home. It was not a question in my mind. I was like, this is coming home with me. Whew. Oh, but this is exactly what I needed because it was, it was a little bit chilly and now I feel, I feel comfortable. I feel like this is, this is what I was waiting for, you know? 
and it's it's got a nice full bodied flavor, and that that's something that I really appreciate about the chocolate chai. Um, it's not burning for burning's sake, and like a lot of places, uh, they judge it by how hot it is. But what good is the heat if all it does is burn your tongue? You know, I mean, bring a little something else to the ta- to the table. Mm. And another another interesting effect. I feel warmth in my ears now. It's like it traveled upwards, and now I feel like a little bit, every time I swallow, there's a little bit of, of warmth. And it's like, it's, it's, it's interesting. Like, I haven't, I've never felt this before. It might be due to drinking two pots, or if I'm, if it's just this particular one. But yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit of heat in my ears. Which one is my favorite? Oh, how to choose. Oh, I don't know if I can choose. Um I'm gonna have to go with the dot with the with the death by chocolate chai. That is actually because it's a more full bodied flavor, uh, because it's more it's got more to offer. Uh oh, excuse me, got more to offer taste wise. Uh, I would say that that's that that's a good one, but it's it's a close it's a close it's a close race. <laughs> oh, I'm choking. Whew. Uh, no, I'm not having an allergic reaction because there's nothing in here that I would have an allergy for uh, from. You know, I mean, I have all of this all the time. So, and normally when I have uh, an allergic reaction. My throat closes up. This, I'm clearing everything out. And the, the heat in my ear started from down here. So it goes up. Like, I felt it slowly going, going, and then now it's like, ooh, right in there. But, you know, my airways mm-hmm. are clear. Everything is, I'm breathing fine, except through my nose, because, of course, everything is is coming out but yeah this i'm 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 fine (laughs) i'm not really going to die by chai tonight at least i hope not but i tell you what if i do this is a way to go this has got a nice uh, it's got a nice burn Uh, you guys know i love my spicy flavors oh I'm starting to get like a, what is that? It's like a cartoon where they have this theme come out. Yes, that's exactly what I was about to say. Like, I'm about to turn into a thermometer and go, woo! Yeah, I, I realized I was doing that and you couldn't see my hand because it was like just off camera. See, I'm really still doing it, but. <laughs> it's like, you can't see me. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Okay, I got to get in close. There we go. <laughs> Anyway, I think I, I, I think I'm getting tea drunk, <laughs> and that is a real thing. I found out tea drunk is a real thing. I don't know how that works. It's just a bit of a euphoric effect uh, from drinking something you love so much. But yeah, tea drunk is a thing, and I am tea drunk. <laughs> I'm not gonna drive tonight. I promise. Not going to drive tomorrow either because I don't have a car, but whatever. Oh, oh, that's so nice. Oh, whew. All right, you guys, throw questions at me. I'm taking a bit of a breather because I'm going through two of these pots. Not as bad as the broccoli tea. No, nothing is going to be as bad as the broccoli tea. <laughs> yeah, it's going to, that's going to go down in infamy. <laughs> to this day, there is a live record that will never be uh, erased from the internet of me going, <laughs> That's I'm never going to live that down. Ooh. Go ahead. And speed things up a little bit. Because this is... Oh... I'm feeling it right now. Like, this is the feeling that I was waiting for. Right now, all of this, all of this is warm. Like, I feel it. 
and it's making me nice and comfortable. Oof. What is it? And I just did it again. Yeah, well, I mean, this time it was intentional. The first time it just happened. This time, like, this is my calling card. Oh! <laughs> you know? I think that that's going to go down in infamy. And I can tell you that if I ever become, like, rich and famous, and somebody's going to gonna dig this up and find me going, oh, and they say, he used to abuse drugs. No, it wasn't drugs. It was just some really funky tea. <laughs> kind of had the same effect, though. But on top of that, there's also a record out there saying that my mom used to give me crack when I was a baby. <laughs> that was just a joke. I never had crack as a baby. I had it two weeks ago, but not as a baby. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not really a crackhead. Although, the way that I act sometimes, it's hard to tell. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put a little bit more. Still not done. Whoops. <clears throat> if I was on a deserted island and I only had coconuts to eat, which tea would go well with the coconuts? Well... First of all, if I only had coconuts to eat, I think I would avoid all tea because that's like a natural diuretic and the last thing I'll need is more water coming out of me. Um, <laughs> but what would go well with a, uh, with a coconut taste? I would say the Thai Chai has always been a favorite of mine. It's got already a coconut and vanilla flavor, so I think it'll, co it'll complement the, uh, the coconuts well. And mom is going to slap me, but, you know, I have until whenever she comes back to Chicago to visit. Oh, excuse me. So I have uh, all the way up until then to worry. And she hasn't come to visit me in about three years, so I think I'm safe for now. You hear that, ma? You're, you've neglected me. You've neglected your adult pushing 40 son. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm so poking the bear right now. <laughs> She'll be like, "What, boy? I will come over there." I like, I, I can, I can see her face already. She ain't even coming. <laughs> I have a feeling, like she's just gonna throw a chancleta out the window, and I'm gonna be like waking up first thing in the morning, and as soon as I open up the door, bam! <laughs> That's. That's what's going to happen tomorrow. Like, I'm going to have a chancleta in the face, and on the bottom it will be like, Signed your mother. <laughs> this is from for last night. <laughs> be like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> like, these scientists are going to be looking through the, uh, through the telescopes and seeing a chancleta flying like this. <laughs> God, just the imagery of that. <laughs> oh, I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> that, that is, that's too much. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know. that. I grew up knowing you got that power. <laughs> I'm, I ain't fooling around. I know. I'm, I know what to expect first thing in the morning. <laughs> That's why I'm only half joking. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, man. What am I, I'm like already trying to, to top off my thing. I haven't... Oh, I just made a huge mess. Like, there is tea all over the place. Because I keep putting it down, but I think my cup has some has some tea on the bottom of it, and that's why it's moving around like that. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, I just gotta wipe that up because I don't want rings. I don't want rings on my nice furniture from Walmart. <laughs> my nice, it's my lovely TV stand that I paid twenty dollars for. Oh, 
Oh man, this is so good. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna top myself off from the end of it. I think I might. Oh, I'm, I still have some left. Yeah, I, I I underestimated how much how much is in this. So I'm gonna be spending half the night in the bathroom. I just know it. Drinking two pots. That's this is a feat in a, uh, in and of itself. Mm. Oh, I should have brought some tissues. But I don't want to like be blowing my nose on the stream because that's gonna be awful. Tea drunk and still clothed. Yeah, I'm not that far gone yet. I'm I'm I think that if I ever were to get drunk, I'd be uh, uh, a happy drunk. Whew. Ooh, I just saw that. There's like fog from my breath on my glasses. Like I just saw like this one go blurry. Yeah, I really am. And and that's gonna be it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a bad thing because I have got to get up early tomorrow and go to a tea tasting in Naperville, and yeah I I'm gonna be up half the night peeing so good luck I'm gonna need help staying uh staying staying sane tonight. Hmm. Oh, ooh, ah. oh, this is like, this is, whew. Oh, I'm starting to feel that. Two of these pots is going a long way. No, <laughs> I'll be okay. Whew. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling it. Like right now, my core temperature is really hot. That that's gonna be a first that Nicole is the sane one. Right now, like I'm feeling it in my stomach, in my chest, in my throat, in my jaw, and in my ears. Like there is some heated some action tonight. And this is whew. This has got a kick. For two for two pots, I, I I think that this is not a challenge for the faint of heart. Uh, I'm I'm still running strong. I can I can finish this. Maybe I should save some of the tea. No, then I that would be giving up the challenge. Never. <laughs> I will finish this challenge. And I will live to tell the tale tomorrow to all who will listen. <laughs> and probably like two, three people. Nope, no chasers. I am going to take this head on. Mm. Oh, it's so good though. <laughs> like, the, 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 the chocolate taste is still really prevalent. And you have like the cinnamon behind it. That's always a great, uh, a, a, a great um, combination. It's the chocolate and cinnamon. Oh, oh man! <laughs> you can you can hear me when I'm. All of this is like trying. I'm fighting it. It's it's all it's all draining. And you know this is like this is some good stuff. Oh, okay, I'm going to see if I can finish it off now. Oops, there we go. Ugh, finish it off. Let there be enough space. Wow, there's still, still more. It's like, it's like this thing is, is tempting me. It just keeps on bringing more water. It's like, what's, what's that, uh, that story in the Bible with the, with the wine that kept on, uh, that kept on being poured out, like the, the the, I think that was what Elijah. No, that was with the oil. Elijah with the with the barrel of oil, or uh, the the when 
when Jesus fed like the masses, that's what it was. Yes, exactly. It's the clown. It's the clown car of teapot. Like the more you put out, the more is in there. And I, you guys know, whenever I do a, a, a tea tasting, it's usually one and a half cups uh, for the for the for the T Rex, two and a half for oh, excuse me, for the other ones. But this is, I'm telling you, like this, the Die by Chai twins are trying to kill me, and they're trying to get me to overdose. Well, Jesus at the wedding was water into wine, but I don't know if they ran short. Maybe I don't know. I forget. Michelle, welcome. You're catching the tail end of it. Uh, I I am still alive. Good to know. Uh, <laughs> I have not died by chai yet, um, but I am coming close. All of this is like heated. I'm burning myself from the inside, and. It's all in the best way. So, just, you know, I'm doing... This is my second pot. And... Uh, I'm still, like... Before, there was a heat. Whenever I would swallow, I would feel it here. Now I just feel a general warmth in my ear. Like, right now. And it's... It's really, it's really comforting. It's, like, really, really mellowing me out. It's like everything is warm, and I'm like, I actually need to un unzip a little bit. <laughs> this is like, whew. Five loaves and two fish. But, then, but there was, like, somebody had ended up with, like, 12 barrels of wine at the end, or maybe I'm just, maybe that was ended up with uh, 12 barrels of oil. I'm mixing something up. But, yeah, there was, like, a lot left over when they had nothing. I forget. I'll have to go back and uh, and do research. I've been cutting class. <laughs> mm. Ooh, that's some good stuff. I'm certain. Uh, <laughs> you had to go. Well, welcome back. I hope everything came out okay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm just like, maybe I'm just uh, mixing things up. But I could have sworn there was like, like oil or wine or something that was left over. I don't know. It was something of excess. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Moving right along. Because it's been quite some time since I've studied. Okay, now I now I should finish it off. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. There we go. I have reached the end. It is in sight. And I am very close to finishing. And this is one of my longer ones. Like I have been going for an hour and 10 minutes and I'm still not done. I think that that this is this is turning into a bit of a marathon, which I'm always down for. A tea marathon is like always some good stuff. Mm. I have half a cup left, and the end is in is in sight. Oh, but I'm so stuffed right now. Although, it's not as bad as the time that I did three, uh, that I did the Chicago Trilogy, and I wound up doing three uh, pots of, 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 uh, of tea. Cookies, yeah, 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 the cookies, okay, I, I said that the biscuits were good for the Die by Chai, uh, for the chocolate Die by Chai, the uh, Death by Chocolate Chai, I'm gonna have to go with plain old chocolate chip. It's not, it, I mean, the chocolate chips are gonna complement the, uh, the, the cocoa. But like the regular, the regular cookie dough, I think warm and right out of the oven would be perfect for this kind of thing. Oof. Oh, I'm, I'm getting stuffed here. 
I don't know, man. I think that this uh, this challenge might be might be getting to me. Now, hobnobs. What's a? I don't know what a hobnob is. Maybe it's it's a, a, a kind of cookie that has escaped me. But I know how you are with your uh, with your European pastries. And you got like the stroopwafels. <laughs> Oof. Oh, excuse me. That was woo. Ha ha. <laughs> that's that's a bit spicy. Hmm. Oh, I'm struggling a little bit. Woo. That one went right into my eyeballs. <laughs> Okay, well, now that I'm getting close to the end of my uh, of my cup, oh, they have chocolate stroop waffles. Oh, we, we're looking for those. We are hitting up World Market and looking for those tomorrow. <laughs> I need I need me some stroop waffles. Uh, now that we're getting close to the end, I want to talk a little bit uh, about what's coming up. Um, I have a couple of um, things in the in the mix right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, whoo! Um, I want to talk a little bit about a couple of new blends that Adagio is coming out with. <clears throat> they came out with six new ones based on the um, the blends. Now that, <sighs> oh, whoo! I, I'm struggling here. My nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is so bad. Uh now that um what was what was that what was that store that's closing um by Starbucks? It was I'm drawing a blank. I can see their logo. It's uh Tivana. Now that Tivana is is closed down, um they have like 10 or so Oh, the uh of the yeah. They have ten or so new blends. I got six of them in a uh, in a sample box. So I'm gonna do three of each for two consecutive streams. Not sure which ones. I don't have anything to blow my nose with right now. Like I would have to run into the bathroom and get some some tissues. But I'll be able to. I'll I'll, I'll survive. Don't worry. Um, I got I got. Those, they're going to be two consecutive uh, new new blend things that I'm going to do. Uh, I don't know which two weeks yet. Um, I have got another one. Uh, well, two house blends. Uh, one is Lemon Elephant, which is done on the State Street. Uh, and it was done by one of the, <coughs> one of the employees there who uh, is a good friend of mine, so hopefully she'll she'll be able to join us for for it just to talk about just to talk about the creative process. Um, I'd like for that to happen. I can't make any promises, but you know that's that's something that uh, that we'll have to work out. Um, I also have the newest house blend. Uh, it's called Purple Mountains Majesty. I gotta get up and stretch there. Uh, it's called Purple Mountains Majesty. It's a new one. Um, I actually voted for it at the store, and it won, and for good reason. Uh, it's a very, it's a very, very nice blend. Uh, so I'll be reviewing that as well. And there's one more I'm forgetting. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bella Luna Blue. Now you guys knew the uh, the magic potion tea. That was the tea that went from, uh, well, in this case, a lighter purple to a darker purple uh, because they put so much uh, berry in it that it had already changed color. Um, this one I've tasted and I love it. <laughs> it's some good stuff. Uh, this one is the Adagio version. Uh, so that most likely I will have another special guest, my little goddaughter, Anna. Uh... I don't know when I'm doing that one, but uh, it will be it will be soon. Now I believe next week. Next week is the ninth, right? Yeah. So next week I'll be doing um, 
a uh, another stream. Probably I want to do the uh, the Valentine's Day special um, because for the sixteenth I'm not going to be able to stream because um, I'm going to see Black Panther and. There ain't nothing going to stop me from seeing that movie. I don't care who you are. I'm going to go see Black Panther. And unless I die by Chai tonight, there ain't nothing going to stop me. Uh, so, yeah. I already got my ticket. I'm good to go. That's when I would have done my um, my Valentine's Day stream. But, I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so pff, who cares? Uh, I do have something lined up. So, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. But that will be my my stream next week. And I'm going to go ahead and finish off this tea. The tea challenge. It's almost coming to an end. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. And I have, I have survived. So far. Mm. So you guys have any questions, any comments? And yes, the uh, I, I'm not ignoring you. The Raja is now your favorite. And I know I cannot sweeten that one, so <laughs> I'll I'll be sure to um, to do that sugar free. Um, I'm probably gonna start doing that from now on, not uh, doing unsweetened teas. Generally, uh, the sugar helps me taste the ingredients better. Uh, so we'll we'll see how that goes. This one I purposefully left unsweetened so I can get all that spice, which is certainly doing its job as you can see i'm not sweating but i'm like everything is coming out so yeah this is this is some good stuff mm. i got one whew, i got one sip left so you guys have any questions any comments you want to throw at me go right ahead now is the time because i'm getting ready to uh to wrap things up here down the hatch for the last time, and this has been an amazing challenge. I'm glad I was able to do it. Oh, and there's something in my eye. I think I'm like tearing up a little bit. Oh, it's so emotional. Oh, there we go. Oh, but here we go. Last call. Oh, I did not break a sweat. I'm actually a little bit disappointed, but. I'm going to I'm going to just blame that on the temperature. And the clothes that I'm wearing is nice and airy. So, yeah. I I am crying. I'm an emotional drunk. I'm an emotional tea drunk. <laughs> well, I'm going to wrap things up here tonight. Thank you all for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and uh put both of the links on uh on the on the new group page uh for those of you who aren't aware, I created that page. All of you are already on it, um, and that's probably how you saw my notification, but just in case you didn't, uh, you are all part of a new group, and I am going to start promoting more uh, more community efforts, more... Um, I, wanna, I want you guys to get to know each other better, uh, because you are all friends of mine, and you should all be friends with each other, and, you know, we all have something in common. We all have some uh, interest in tea. So, by all means, feel free to uh, post any tea-related topics, any uh, any questions, comments, and stuff like that. Uh, it's all it's all good. It's all open forum. Um, and, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Have a good night, everybody, and thanks for joining me. And I look forward to uh, seeing you guys next week. Bye. Bye.